Hello and welcome to another video from the only channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy it. And today's video is just going to be a book review of the book How to Make and Mend Cast Nets. I highly recommend this book. I have had, I own many other books about cast net making. This is the only one that I have ever found that has any value whatsoever. I'm not telling you not to get books about how to uh, tie fishing knots or things of that nature. I have many good books about that subject, but as far as cast nets go, this is the only one I've ever found that I've been able to use for anything. Now the information on the Amazon website is that the book is 96 pages. It is paperback and it is written by Ted Dallum. It also says this old favorite has been fully revised with many new diagrams and charts added. It tells how to construct monofilament and nylon nets both from scratch and using machine-made netting. Modifications to the basic net plan include skirt net, panel net, and Spanish cast net. It also has complete instructions for making a hammock, the perfect place to stretch out for a nap while your mullet cook in the smoker. So the, basically, if you're reading that, you're going to think that you're going to get a 96-page book with just a few pages dedicated to what you're interested in because... Obviously, if you're trying to learn the art of cast net making, you're not going to be interested in using uh, monofilament. I, in, in my mind, I can't even imagine anyone attempting such a thing, although I have seen videos on YouTube of people actually making monofilament nets. Don't ask me why they do that. Also, it talks about using machine-made netting and simply sewing it together. I don't even know where you would get machine made netting to, to make a cast net so I don't know why that's in here but that's okay because this is just, those are just small parts of the book now uh, if you're making a net you may not know the net by the name that's written here we I've always called a cast net a mullet net uh, mullet nets are also known as Spanish nets and then there is the braille net, which is the one that you uh, use to catch shrimp. Now, the difference between the Spanish net or cast net or mullet net is that you can go out in waist-deep water, throw the net, catch your fish, and dump the fish into your bag. But with a brill net, if you're catching shrimp with a brill net, you need to either be on the shore, on a pier, or on a boat because you can't dump the net while standing in waist deep water. So, and a brill net is one that has the brills or strings that go from the rope all the way down to the bottom of the net, and they're what pull it in. The Spanish net actually has a bag that goes all the way around, and that's what holds your fish in. You're going to need to make sure that whatever your net you're making, you're making it for what it is you're catching, um, which means that you're going to have to size the, the mesh and meshes and you're going to have to decide which pattern to use. Now, in this video, you'll see that the cast net book, How to Make and Mend Cast Nets book, actually has information about how many knots are in each uh, row of a cast net, depending on what style of cast net you're making, uh, how many uh, meshes and wideners you put in at the top, and how many meshes and wideners you'll end up with at the bottom, and the total number of knots you'll have to do to produce that net. This book also has information about the history of fishing for mullet or the history of uh, fishing with nets. It has information about how to cook mullet. It has information about how to throw a cast net. And I think you could probably figure it out from the book. But if you're going to make a cast net, you need someone to show you how to make a cast net. And when you're done, you really need someone to show you how to throw a cast net. And you can, uh, of course, as you time goes on, you'll figure out ways to throw a cast net that are different than the way you were taught. Uh, everybody has to do it the way that is comfortable for them. But I do highly recommend this book. And uh, I highly do not recommend every other book about cast nets. I hope you can get the, the, the book. By the way, the book is $6.26 on Amazon Prime's website, which means you pay $6.26 for the book. Uh, if you don't have Amazon Prime, you'll have to pay shipping. But if you order $50 or more worth of stuff, it's still free shipping. So you'll still pay $6.26. No tax, no shipping. All right, well, love you. If you don't want to survive, 
Don't listen to me. 